Hey, I'm Mr. B, and today I have some of my students here in the background doing what they do best, and that is tearing up cars. So, my students right here can break a battleship with a sandbox, but what they've managed to do today is something that we all do from time to time, and that is strip out a bolt. So, uh, they have put a bolt in, it was either the wrong bolt or wrong length or something like that, and they have pulled the threads completely out of an aluminum cylinder head, and these are the valve cover bolts. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show them, and I'm going to show you how to replace the threads in an aluminum cylinder head with something of what we call a helicoil. So helicoil kits can be uh, purchased uh, either by fastener size or you can get kits. The kit I got is about $800, but it covers a wide range of metric fasteners. So they are sold in standard and metric, and they're really good for low torque applications such as this um, valve cover. Uh, so if you have a crank bolt or flywheel bolt or something like that, I would not recommend a helical. I recommend something what they call a time cert or just to replace the part. But for these low torque applications, I'd say under you know 35 foot pounds, uh, this is ideal and normally we can save a lot of time and money using a helical. So let's get started. Okay, so we have our kit here. This is a recoil kit from Alcoa Fastening Systems. Uh, and the cool thing about these kits is this is just one of the pieces of the kit that I have because this goes all the way down from M5 to M10 and everything in between. So this is an M6 bolt that we're dealing with uh, and this opens up. So cool thing is, is you got everything you need right here in one spot to do this. So you have the drill bit. Now we're going to use this drill bit right here and very carefully we are going to drill out the, uh, the hole that is stripped out and then we're going to take this our tap and we're going to retap the threads okay and so you're going to need some uh, thread lubricant or some cutting oil as well this is the special tool here for installation of the uh the the special coil and this is a tool it's a magnet tool that we break off the coil the bottom of the coil and we retrieve it with this little magnet here so these are the helicoils or the coil repairs. And so we're gonna want basically something around the same size as this. So uh, you wanna make sure that some of these are shorter than others. So we wanna get the longest one here. And we're just measuring this and making sure that this is going to thread in there, just like that. And this is gonna be our new threads. So it has the external threads that match this right here and the internal threads are going to match this right here and that's how all this works and that's why if i have a very high torque application if i screw this in very tightly this will come and it'll actually like an accordion it'll spread out so we don't want that to happen so just low 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 torque applications so let's go over to the car and i'll show you how we drill this out and prepare okay on this cylinder head we have this hole right here that is stripped out. They pulled the threads out of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this drill, we're gonna drill down into the threads, and then we're gonna take a tap and uh, tap this hole out to the larger diameter to accept that helical. And then this is our helical right here. Or coil device, it's actually, this is not a helical itself. So we're gonna set the depth as far as the helical goes. You'll see this tang. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus here. Right there. And this is gonna come up here and grab right in there. And it should be about even. You don't want this to be set wrong, okay? This needs to be set just like this. And so let's go ahead and get drilling into that hole. So I want to go evenly. This is just aluminum, so you don't really have to worry about it. If anything gets into the engine, it's okay. But grab me one of them paper towels here. I'm gonna put a paper towel in here just to keep the, the shavings and everything out of the engine. And we're trying to
until we hit the bottom of the hole there. Pull this out. And then we're going to put the tap in after that. Okay, so we have our tool here and we are going to put this there. And you want to get a lubricant. I'm using this rapid tap stuff here is pretty good. Get a can of it, it'll last you for years. And what we're doing is we're going to cut new threads. You want to go in straight. You don't want to force this. If you're forcing it, you're probably going to have a bad time. So, easy does it. I'm wanting to go slow. It'll get easier as you go in. If it gets harder, back out and try again. We're gonna keep going until you know, this isn't a bottom tap, however, we're just going to keep going until it gets a little bit tougher to go. Then we're going to go ahead and back out. And that should be about right on the distance for setting this in. Okay, so last step, all we're doing is, is we're putting the insert in. So we're just going to be very careful. These inserts are very fragile. And they'll screw in just like a bolt will and you're just wanting to use your hand you don't want to put any power on this Thread this in here. Just like that. Alright. Then after that we're gonna put our tool down in there to, to break the tang in the bottom and then we should be able to uh, put that back where it's supposed to go. Okay, so once we're done, we're gonna put this in here. We're going to hit this and that's going to break the tang off at the bottom and the tang should come out with the tool. Okay. After that we're just going to go ahead and go about as normal and make sure that we don't put too much torque on this fastener right here. Okay everybody that does it for me. Remember if you have any questions please hit me up in the comments. I'm able to answer your questions pretty much throughout the day. Uh, if you have any suggestions for videos leave them in the comments. Also uh, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, VK, any of those platforms, Mr. B is there. And as always, thank you. We'll see you next time.